Christmas is over when we say it is. Bring on the schmaltz. Well, hello again there, Schmaltz Tears. Welcome to another episode of Schmaltz Mark. I'm Wayne. With me, as always, is my lovely bride, Kelly. Kelly, uh, we haven't done this in a little while. No. No, we've... Uh, we've had illness and holidays and... We had to say goodbye to one of our beloved pets. You've seen him. Big... Pippin, big white fluffy one. Yeah. We've had him for 14 years. and. 14 and um, yeah. yeah, he had to cross the Rainbow Bridge, sadly. So that Very kind of... Awful. All those things sort of threw us off schedule for yeah. a while. Uh, but here's the thing. It's only the ninth day of Christmas. Right. By the traditional liturgical calendar, mm. Christmas starts on Christmas Day. goes for 12 more days. So we got three more days of Christmas, so we're not stopping. Yay. We're not taking this stuff down yet. has nothing to do with the fact that we have no idea what we're going to put back here when we do take it down. Not at all. No clue. None. Uh, but I hope uh, everybody out there had a, a great Christmas. Yeah. And a uh, happy New Year. Happy New Year. And I hope you're all staying warm. It is crazy, crazy it's cold. Stupid cold. I, I, I we was live hearing, in Birmingham for a reason. Yeah. It's snowing in Tallahassee today. I heard reports today that in Omaha, Nebraska, it was like minus 36 this now, week. That's stupid cold. Listen, don't. Don't go out and have a flirty fight with the white in that kind of weather. You'll knock somebody's nose clean You'll off. You'll just freeze. Yeah. Don't just be safe about it. So, Kelly, uh, with the new year, mm. we got some new things to do with this channel. Yes. Uh, we are going to be debuting uh, a new show soon called Fans Are Us. and The kids uh, are really excited about this. That's, a, that's one that the kids are really wanting to do. So um, we'll be talking all sorts of geek stuff, all of our geek obsessions, Star Mostly Wars them. and Marvel <laughs> and all sorts of fun things. So look for that. Uh, later on, we'll also be bringing in, this may be a, a little while down the road, but we're going to be doing a, a show called uh, The Biscuit Corps. Hmm. which will be a look at uh, America's flaky middle. So basically <laughs> all the fun stuff that happens between the coasts and all the weird little regional isms mm -hmm. that make this country so much fun yes. and so much in so much more interesting uh, with them. So beyond that, uh, we still got a bunch of these Hallmark movies we haven't watched. Yep. Some We've of them are just not. Gonna... <laughs> well, we will... And we'll roll out the lightning reviews because, you know, they'll play these things again in sure. the summer. Uh, they'll play them again next year. So we want to make sure the reviews are out there for you guys to check out. And first of all, I, with regard to that, I want to thank everybody who's been watching the channel. We've had a, a real nice uh, continuation of our viewership mm -hmm. even beyond Christmas. And uh, thank you guys. It's it's all it's all to you for that. Um, we just do our thing here and trust that somebody out there will enjoy what we're doing. <laughs> With that in mind, uh, we are going to review the four Winterfest films yes. there on are Hallmark. Four movies coming up every Saturday in January. Yeah, so we will do a, a pre a pre cap of each one of those films and then follow that up with a lightning review after it's done. All right, so with this being a new year, with New Year's resolutions in mind, we yes. think it is time to bring you something that you all need, and that's our New Year's Schmaltz Solutions. Just little romantic things you can do that have been inspired by the movies that we have seen That's this right. year. This is a way to schmaltz up your relationship in the new year. Absolutely. Uh, the first one, Kelly, is I think that everyone should take up a hobby together, like uh, maybe ice sculpting. Mm. Or, or um, yeah, ice sculpting. I just think that ice sculpting. One? Yeah, just that one. Uh, and, and, you know... Or maybe some awkward ice skating together. That always seems to yes. be a good bonding Falling moment. down ice skating. Yes. Uh, the key is one of you has one. to be good at it. Yes. So go ahead and get good. Then bring the other or partner with you. Or if one of you is already good, then just bring the other yeah. partner along. Right. Um, but you have to fall down the one that's not good. Yeah, right. If both of you are, are very good skaters already, one of you has got to at least pretend to be awkward mm -hmm. so that the other one can help you along. Right. It's very important. And, and really, if Hallmark movies have taught us anything, and I believe they have, mm. it's that awkward ice skating is the key to a healthy relationship. Yes. If you decide to go with the ice sculpting, then uh, you've got a little bit of a problem in the warm weather months, so then we just recommend water sculpting. They're not waterbenders. They could be. <laughs> 
see us on Fans R Us about that. What do we have next, Kelly? We have Almost Kiss Every Day. Almost Kiss Every Day. But don't actually kiss. When do we get to actually kiss? I don't know. Would that be like at the end of the year? Yeah, like mistletoe. That would be a good time. If there's been a big um, revelation or something. It's something that feels like the ending of a story. If, yeah. Right. Then you can. But other than that, no. I don't, I don't like this one. <laughs> I, let's just move along. Okay. I, I, I'm not happy with this one at all. Let's, but, but Hallmark but, inspired it. Yeah, I know. But see, that's early in a relationship. Well, that's true. You know. We should show a montage of almost kissing. I'm going to look at this now because I can't see. Um, oh, okay. All right. So here's one for the women out there. The key to having a happy romantic relationship with your significant other is that you've got to have some time for yourself. You've right. got to have yes. friendships yes. apart from your time with them. Very right? important. See, that's healthy. Yes. And we recommend that you seek out a redhead who works as a waitress at a small town diner. Or in a coffee shop. Or in a coffee shop. Has to be a redhead. Has to be in a small town. These people are the perfect confidants. They are the best BFFs. They are. And, and again, we can thank Hallmark for that wisdom. <laughs> yes, we can. Um, this is for the men out there. You need to find a city guy who works too much, mm. way too much, mm -hmm. and compare yourself to them favorably. Okay, so how would that work? Like, So let's say uh, you and I are out for dinner and mm. I see a guy and he's dressed way nicer than I am. Right. Uh, clearly spent way more on his haircut. Which, you know, I'm, I don't have that much left to pay for. Um, Definitely grooms himself for an hour or so. He's, he's probably got a, a, a little, you know, yes, a little, little Bluetooth thing. earpiece yeah. in. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. talking during his dinner, yes. doing business while he's doing business. On his phone, texting. Yeah. Or... So then I point to that guy and go, look, you could be with someone like that. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, he, he doesn't care about his date. Yeah, he's, he's ignoring her. Or he's not even there with his wife or significant other because he doesn't have time for he's her. He's just eating dinner by himself. Oh, that's Obviously the worst. Obviously busy. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. yeah. So if I point out a guy like that, mm -hmm. then I will, by comparison... Feel better about yourself. No, but the question is, will you feel better about me? Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Your significant other will definitely feel better about... Um, you if you point out what they could mm, Okay. I like this. Mm -hmm. I think this is a good strategy. Mm -hmm. Now, do I need to be folksier? Yeah, probably. You know, I need to take up some woodworking or something? Something. Yeah. Grow something. I could grow some Christmas trees. Yes. See? Now we're on to something. You guys learn from this. Um, my next piece of advice, and this one, man... This is, this is gold. You're going to want to write this one down. When you have an argument or a problem in your relationship... Which you always will. Which you will. One of you needs to get out of town. Just leave? Just leave. Go out of town. If there's one thing we've learned from Hallmark movies, that is if the two people will separate into different cities mm -hmm. after a problem, mm -hmm. well, it ends up practically resolving itself. Does it need to be hurriedly, like throw some stuff in a suitcase? Oh, go? yeah, because there's no time to talk. Okay. You can't discuss the problem, All right. even if it's just a misunderstanding. Okay. You got to go. All right. The problem is, what happens if both of you leave? Oh. Well, then nothing's getting taken care of at home. So you need to go ahead and have your emergency argument plan in place. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and know whose turn it is next to leave town. Okay. So and know where you're going to go. Leaving. Right. You know, I honestly, I think it would be best if the woman leaves. Okay, why is that? Well, because then she can go and stay with her redhead BFF who works at the diner. But what if they live in town with the BFF at the diner? You said oh, they had to gosh. go to another city. Yeah, all right. Well, see, then the guy would need to leave, and he needs to uh, have a father figure in place oh, that he can go yeah. and have mm -hmm. a conversation mm -hmm. with. So the key is you, female... <laughs> the woman talks to her redheaded BFF. Okay. The father figure is there for the guy. Okay. So they both go off. They have these conversations. And then they come back together? Yeah. Okay. But they don't talk it out. That's our final suggestion. Yes. So when you do come back together, yeah. because you have to, 
yeah. come back together. Yeah. That's just life. Um, you can only spend 30 seconds at most discussing what happened. Okay. Well, okay. That's fair. 30 seconds is 30 good. seconds. If you can't resolve the problem in 30 seconds, then... Then it's not worth talking about. No. Then, after that 30-second conversation, at most, act like nothing ever happened. Oh, this is good advice. Mm. Yeah. Just move on. Yeah. Honey, I'm sorry I accidentally cut off your leg with the skill saw, but let's just move on. Yeah. Okay. That is okay, honey. Yeah. And then you just limp off into the sunset right. together. See? It's just that easy. Guys, this stuff is gold. You're going to have so much more of a romantic relationship this year thanks to this. You are. Trust us. Trust us. Kelly, I got nothing else for these people. Nope. I, I can't top what we've just given No, you. I mean, that's, that's, that's the golden goose right there. It is. It really is. So uh, take that. Put these things into practice, enjoy them, and watch for uh, some more lightning reviews of Christmas movies because I'm just going to keep watching them. Keep watching them and reviewing them. So we'll have those coming up soon. And then uh, also watch for the Winterfest stuff. Yes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate you guys. We do. Kelly, it is not, however, schmaltz. Unless it ends with a kiss. Are we going to actually kiss or is this an almost kiss? I think because it's an ending. Oh, a natural ending. A natural oh, ending. See? We have to kiss. You, you've just learned something else. Yes. Bye, y'all. To watch another episode of Schmaltzmark, click on the upper left. Or to subscribe to our channel, Wannabe Films, click on the upper right.